absolutely. Um, you know, I think, uh, as you know from last summer and going into the fall, uh, as people learned more and more about what was being proposed, um, they reacted by going to town hall meetings, by calling uh, and visiting with their congressmen. And, and I think, um, you know, obviously it's not, the, the debate is not over. Uh, although I think that they're close in many areas, uh, there's still a lot of concern that groups like us have. Ultimately, we're very concerned about the cost uh, that's going to be foisted upon small business owners um, with, in our view, uh, not as much access as w that we'd like to see. So um, it's not too late. I think we have a lot of key folks in the Michigan delegation. Um, I encourage people to go to sbam.org. Uh, where Scott Lyon often, as you know, makes comments about uh, what our, um, our impressions are of, of different proposals. Uh, it's a good resource, uh, and really most importantly, to get a small business perspective. I think one of our frustrations, and we conveyed this to uh, some of the staffers and some of the members of Congress that we met with, um, is that uh, the congressmen and uh, their public relation machines often talk about what's good for small business and uh, both sides you know claim that this is good for small business or that proposal is good for small business um, what I like about uh, SBAM.org uh, especially Scott Lyons contributions to that on this national health care debate is you can really uh, get an understanding of um, how these proposals are, are really going to affect uh, small business, uh, not through the filter of, um, you know, a politician saying that this is going to be beneficial. And so I hope folks uh, who watch this and are watching the debate unfold uh, use sbam.org as a resource to go to and get an idea on how, 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 how uh, some of these proposals really are going to affect uh, uh, the members of our association.